Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd come on today with a surprise creation store project share and tutorial. So if you watched my previous video I got all these lovely um, layering circles, um, ovals, rectangles and things like that and I wanted to do something with them and rather than just show you a project I thought I'd show you how I made it um, if you want to purchase these dies as well. So I took the second to largest die for this project and the fourth and fifth smallest one and I've just stuck them together with some washi tape and then I came up with this, I'm calling it a double sided gift bag. <laughs> so the idea for the handles came from Sam at Mixed Up Crafts, um, I thought they were really nice and they went really well with this bag design. So I've just used the circ largest circle that I said on the front and back and I've just flipped the paper over and then I've made a box in the middle that is quite um, a good size and I've just lined the bits of paper to match. And then the handles, when they lay flat, are a foiled effect and then the opposites of the bag on the opposite side. So I just thought it was really nice. It's a good size, it does stand, it does roll a little bit but... Just stand up ish and then it rolls <laughs> so but yeah it will stay there when the thing when you've got things in it stands so um yeah i'm gonna show you how i made that bag it's a good size as well um but yeah i'm gonna show you how i made it so you are going to need a few pieces just fetch my scoreboard in so that I can tell you the measurements because I've already gone ahead and scored the card. So you want a piece of card that measures 11 inches by 9.5 inches and on the long side you want to score 4 and a quarter inches and 6 and 3 quarter inches and then on the short side you want to score 2.5 inches and 7 inches and that's all the scoring you need for that bit. Then you want to cut out four of the larger circle that I said and I've just used a sheet of 12 by 12 and just cut a little bit of the pattern off um, and then you need to cut two, this is a bit of a thicker card just to give it some strength and then you need to glue them two together. So I've already done that one so I'll just glue that one. Then you want four handles so with the bit that I said I stuck together, this bit, you want to just cut out four handles. So I've cut six because this paper is a little bit thin so I cut six so it makes them quite strong and then I've just stuck them together like that so that's all you need to do for that and then you want two side panel pieces. I'm doing two this time because I'm doing coloured card for the, the box and they need to measure two and a quarter inches by four and you'll need two of them and that I've just cut that the same in the handles so. Oops. then what we're going to do oh you do need two smaller pieces as well that measure three quarters of an inch by three forgot about those so I am just going to find my glue there it is I've left it up the top I feel like it's been forever since I did a tutorial. Um, but with Christmas, and my girls were off school, my husband was off work, it just takes up so much of your time. And this is today's the first day that everybody hasn't been here. Um, girls are back at school and my husband is back at work. So you just want to attach them two together and then just press all that glue down like so. So I'll leave them that to dry with that one and then we'll get on with making the box. So you just want to fold and burnish on your score line. And then 
going to just cut up these two sections here. And then just notch. And then on this side, and then just notch, and then repeat that over on the opposite side. then all we're going to do is just fold up the two sides okay so you're going to just remove a little bit more of this want to keep this flap on the inside or you could keep it in the middle actually and then bring them two up like so so we're going to pop a bit of glue on this one on the flap just bring <laughs> and then bring that flap up and then we're going to pop some glue on the inside of this one and then bring that one across and then you can just turn that over and flatten it down like so and then you just want to remember which side is going to be front and back so the back one will go in, this one will go up and that one will close. So that will make your little box. Okay, so actually I'll bring it up to the camera. So you just want to apply some glue on the flap. And then bring that side up. And then pop some glue on this side. And then just close that over. Okay. And that will create your box. Like so. And then you can put your pieces on the sides. You may as well just go ahead and do that now. You could do it at the end if you want to. There we go. And then just turn it over and do the next one. And then what you want to do is this is going to be the front of my bag so you just want to make sure how do we want it so you just want to make sure that all your corners fit and it will just fit within from the bottom down so that you can see and it will look like that okay so I am going to cover the entire front of this box and put plenty on there and 
and then I'm just going to line that up at the bottom So you can see it fits inside there and then that is the top. So then you want to just take your bone folder and just burnish it right down. And then for the back piece you just want to do it exactly the same. But if you stand over you can so it's kind of like that and you can see there that that is the same as the other side so what I'm going to do is again cover the entire back piece making sure and then you can just stand it up and it stands and then you can bring in your bone folder and just smooth all that down like so so there's your box and as you can see, it does stand up. <laughs> so that's the box. I think that's right. You could put a piece on here if you wanted to. I laid it up because this needs to be quite sturdy so that it will stand and take the weight. So then what you want to do with your strips... Do I want them that way? Yeah. It's just curl them round. Curl both of them around like that and then I want my handles this way so when they fold down you'll get that lighter colour okay so you're just going to hook that in place a bit of glue and then just close that up and just hold it for a second And just check that. So that's that one. And then you want to just repeat that on the next one and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back and I've already connected the first handle. And all I've done is just stuck it inside the bag there. So then we're going to attach the next one. So we want it with the pattern side facing up so when it folds down the light side is there so you'll just decide depends what pattern you use that's the way I want mine so then just want to guess while well, I'm guessing mine and that's about right for me just making sure that's nice and stuck you could measure it if you want to but I'm happy to just leave it like that and that is your circle gift bag and I think it's absolutely beautiful it's really quirky, it's different I love the handles, they really set it off really nicely and then you could just put a gift tag on if you wanted you could use it that way or that way round you could use the other smaller circles and make a hanging gift tag I'm just going to leave mine plain for the time being because I will be using it but I don't know for what occasion yet um, so yeah I really really hope you enjoyed that I hope you'll give it a go um, and have a go yourself and do share it on my crafting with Danielle Rose group if you do have a go um, and yeah, I'll see you next time with some more ideas. Thanks again for watching.
Bye.